Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. So today I've just been feeling really, really slow for some reason. I've gotten like barely any work done. And I just, ugh, I don't know what it is. I just feel so blah. Um, but one thing that did make me happy was that Vikra bought me some flowers for Valentine's Day. How beautiful are these? They're so like vibrant and stunning. You know, I never really used to be a flower person and I think it was because like I used to live obviously at my parents' house and like I didn't really have anywhere to put my flowers and like admire them, but now I love getting flowers. I don't know, maybe it's like just me maturing, but I think flowers are so beautiful now and like it just makes me really happy to like come to a place where I see flowers that have been bought for me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to trim the stems of this and then put it in this vase and yeah that is probably all i'm going to get done today to be very honest okay look how pretty they look i'm obsessed these colors are just so beautiful so today vikra is taking me out for a date night right <laughs> yes i am we're going to Hi, we haven't had uh, Thai food in a long yeah. time, and that spot, spot is dope. Yeah, I feel like we haven't been to Pai in like a couple years now. Oh, right, more than a couple years. Yeah, pandemic. Yeah, like, true. Definitely like three years, four years, something. Yeah. Like that. it's been a long time. And the food there is really, really good. So I'm really excited because I haven't had like good Thai food in a long time. Actually, I had Pad Thai this past weekend, um, but like you know, something what? that's not Pad Thai yeah. in a really long time. But before we go to dinner. We are stopping by um, this like vintage shop. It's not a vintage shop. It's just like some girl that sell sells vintage furniture and stuff like that. I found her off Facebook Marketplace and she has this like really cute um, vintage record um, tape. What is it? Like a record stand, yeah. I guess, right? Um, it holds like records and it, hold it can hold like a record player and stuff like that. And I thought it would look really, really cute in our um, dining room. So we're going to go see it. Hopefully we like it. And yeah, see how it goes. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay. So this is what we came to look at. It's like a brass record stand and it's going to be so cute in our um, dining room. I love it. Yes, I do. you all of the time. I like to. I like to. All right, here's what it looks like in our spot. We obviously came back from our date night and we put it in the spot it's supposed to go, and then we're gonna. Um, put that our like guest booked thing that we got made for our wedding up here, which is really cute because that was our wedding song. And then we're gonna put a record player here and all of our records that we're collecting. And I think it's gonna look so cute and we should be getting our sideboard um, in pretty soon, uh, hopefully March. Um, and then this is the mirror I've been telling you guys that I've been looking for everywhere. Um, I don't know if I ever showed it in the vlog properly, but that's the mirror and I still haven't found two more yet. So if anyone in the GTA or Toronto finds this mirror, please let me know. Also, our date was so good. Like, Pai was such an amazing restaurant. The vibes were really, really good. This is our first time at the um, Young location. It was Young? Young and, egg. Young and Egg location and it was amazing like the food was really really good the vibes were really good they were playing like amazing music um I love the decor as well it looks very different it's like very fun and colorful compared to their uh original location um but yeah how did you like it it was delicious they had this I, I'm not even gonna pronounce it this pork braised um oxtail and pork uh, curry dish. oh yeah it was so good Delicious. so Delicious. good and the shrimp was really good too i loved everything um vikra bought this massager as well what is this uh massager. like a massage gun yeah massage we got it from amazon and we actually got what is it called a theragun yeah we got a theragun um originally and then the guy at sport check was like the ones on Amazon, like I've heard good things about them too. And they were significantly cheaper. So we bought the one off of Amazon. Um, 
we're gonna try it out see how it goes because uh, if it's good then we're just gonna return the Theragun because it's like double the price and why are you trying to spend that extra money you know okay we're trying it on my butt that's actually really nice did you like it I loved it that was great highly recommend thumbs up Guess who I'm seeing today? Finally, I know. Actually, I checked the last time I saw you was September. Oh my god. Yeah. Not cool. Dude. Stop. I know. Not I'm cool. like the worst friend. <laughs> But you're here now. Um, I know, I'm here now. You made it to my house, finally. So Kavita just bought a new house. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy for her, and I'm finally Thank seeing you. it for the first time. Okay, it's so, so stunning. Yeah, I got her a little, I got her a little present. Hey. Housewarming present. <laughs> but I have to show you guys her living room because okay. it is... It is so stunning. I love it. And like this one art piece is like me. She she framed a picture of me basically. I did. <laughs> so that is me, obviously. Um, I have those sunglasses actually. Um, and look at this fireplace. How dope is that? She got that art piece commissioned. Stunning. It looks like a mermaid, like ocean type of vibe. And then she painted her fireplace black. I'm obsessed so cute this is the rest of her living room and then i want to show you guys one more thing look at her little bar i love this this is like my favorite piece of furniture in her house it is so cute i love the shape and i just like i don't know i love the whole vibe of it it's well, adorable you love it. yeah all your followers. i'm um moving in soon okay yeah. thanks that's the point <laughs> <laughs> i like to love you every day we are ending our night off by doing a full moon ritual. I'm really, really excited because this is like the first full moon ritual I've done. It's very good. So we're doing it with um, my friend Matthew. Yes. And he, um, follow him, he's Stillwater Alchemy on Instagram. And he does these, it's about 32 minutes where he talks about what the full moon is offering um, he does a little tarot reading and a meditation, so. Yay, yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, so this weekend is Vicar's birthday weekend. He's turning 32 tomorrow. I am so excited to be celebrating with him. I have this whole weekend planned out for us. Uh, so yesterday he went out with his friends and they did their thing together. And then today and tomorrow I have like a few things planned out for us. Um, Vikra is like really hard to shop for, I find personally. Like he's always so indecisive about what he wants. So normally what I like to do is just like plan activities for us to do and like create memories that way and spend money that way um just because I don't know he's he's very picky when it comes to things like clothes and um shoes and whatnot and just I guess more material things um so I think just giving him experiences is easier and, and he actually really enjoys that so today what I have planned out is that I'm gonna go out and grab breakfast right now for the both of us um, I figured you know he went out with his friends last night he's tired he just like wants to chill sleep in whatever so I'm gonna go grab his breakfast we're gonna eat at home and then we're gonna go to the science center because he really wanted to go to the science center so that's what we're gonna do and I'm really excited about that because I haven't been to the science center in like so long um and then after that we're gonna go out for dinner and the dinner is gonna be a little bit of a surprise because my my friends are gonna show up to celebrate with him um and then we're gonna go back to my friend's uh condo and yeah just like continue the party there and hopefully we make it out to a bar at night that's like the plan but god knows what's gonna happen once we once we start drinking at my friend's condo it's your birthday weekend birthday weekend you're, what's good you're turning 32 tomorrow 22 22 sorry my mistake come on man this man Get ordered together. a salad for his birthday, that's what he wanted this morning. That's how you know you're getting older and becoming more of an adult, is when you order a salad know, as man. your birthday breakfast. And he also ordered Hail to the Kale from Bo Booster Juice, right? Yeah. You gotta power up the so right way green. when you're at this age to be able to get through this weekend, so. <laughs> is he yummy? It's delicious, Yeah. We made it to the science center, but the line is so long. Like literally everyone in the world is here right now. 
Um, I ended up parking down the street because like the line to even get parking was crazy. But we made it. You excited? <laughs> If I may, I'd like to love you, love you. I'd like to love you, love you. All right, how did you like the Science Center? Science Center was amazing. It was so good. I love the Science Center. Yeah, it was really, really fun. There were so many cool things to see. And we now so we are headed to Toronto Beach Club for dinner. I'd like to love you. some lobster because we fancy so we bought some lobster deep fried lobster yeah deep fried lobster and pepper shrimp from a place called wings and bites um and we're watching love is blind right now i'm just starting and i've watched 10 seconds of it so. I'm, I'm like on episode four but i told him i'd start over everybody him. was talking about it last yeah. night and i felt mad left out so i'm like you gotta check this shit out i start i usually don't watch shows like this but um, there was a brown couple on it, and I was like, I have to watch. Yeah, I never see brown couples on these on like dating shows. shows yeah. yeah, so I was like, I want to watch this. Um, I mean, it's okay so far. I I don't mind it. It's entertaining. I'm I'm invested, um, and I think you'll be invested too. And then around four thirty, um, my friend Greg is coming over. He is a chef. Uh, if Did you guys watch, yeah, if you guys watched my vlog a few weeks ago, um, he came over for like our dinner party that we have with our few friends and he cooked us dinner and the food was amazing like so good so he's doing a private cooking lesson for us um as a part of Vikra's birthday present are you excited for that very very excited and he's teaching us how to make seafood paella and tiramisu and i'm so excited it's gonna be really really good he's really good he when he yeah. was making dinner last time he was making fresh beignets oh and they were delicious for this really nice dessert so I got to watch him do that a little bit, and I was like, "It was like a coconut coconut beignet. cream beignet with like fresh whipped cream." Oh my god, it was so good. Can't you wait. excited? Yeah, very you excited. Yay. All right. So as we know, it's Vicar's birthday, and then this is the present I was telling you guys that I got him. Oh yeah. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Let me let me let me explain what's going on first. So we have Greg here, um, and I'll tag his Instagram and all that stuff below so that you guys can get in touch with him if you want. But Greg is um, doing a private cooking class for us. And what are you teaching us to do today? Today we're going to make paella. Yes. Enjoy a little bit of Spanish wine with the paella. Yes. Got a nice and bottle. Then Vicar's favorite dessert, we're going to do some tiramisu. Yes. And then um, Greg also brought Vikra this cute little present. How adorable. It's like yeah, a recipe book. It. How nice cute is touch. that? Greg was telling us that he's like kept his recipes over the years for what? Like the last 20 years in like notebooks? Yeah, now, you, now I sound old. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he did the same for Vikra, which is really, really cute. He got him a little recipe notebook. Um, and yeah, it's going to be so fun. Great gift. Thank you, love. We finished up our paella experience and our tiramisu experience it was so good you have i'm like dying i don't i don't really eat rice and 
I would devour this. It literally tastes like home. Greg, you did an amazing Thank you. job. Guys, you guys have to hire him for like private cooking sessions or whatever. It's just so good. Catering. You do a lot of catering. A lot of catering. A lot of catering. And hire him for your parties. Oh my God. So good. This is like the best thing I've ever eaten. I love it. The tiramisu is in the fridge right now. I'll show you guys later. But chef's, chef's kiss. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, Vicar's going to pull out the... Oh yeah, he put it into like little... um little containers and then we have like a big container for like leftover that one's mine it's very cute and i made it myself um but it was amazing thank you so much greg for this experience it was phenomenal yeah. great birthday present man really right yeah, oh awesome such a good such a good birthday present okay so Vicar's cousins came over hi guys and we're cutting your cake all right guys that's all i have for you this week i hope you enjoyed celebrating Vikra's birthday with me and valentine's day and if you did please do not forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and as always thank you so much for all the love and support you constantly show me and i'll see you next time bye